Michael Morant is charged with first degree murder. He's accused of leaving his unconscious girlfriend in a wooded area covered in a blanket. Her body found late Monday night. Police think an argument led to murder. The victim, 30 year old Rebecca Strasbaugh of Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Her body found off Enzer Mill Road near Belfast Road in Sparks. Charged with first degree murder, her boyfriend, Michael Morant. Neighbors in Red Lion, where the couple shared a home, are shocked. I don't understand how someone could do that. Like, if you love someone, even if you get into a fight, I don't understand how it can escalate that quickly. Some neighbors say they did hear the couple arguing Friday. And that's the first, yeah. I mean, I've ever sure. heard them. I've never even seen them give, uh, uh, you know, a, an awful, um, any kind of sure. a disturbing look sure. to each other or, or yeah. anything like that in the past. A relative of the woman reported her missing Sunday, two days after she failed to return from a trip to Baltimore. What started this was a relative reporting her missing in Pennsylvania. I said, I haven't heard from her in a while, I'm just I'm a little concerned. So York Area Regional Police started looking into it. Police questioned, then arrested Morant after he told them he found his girlfriend in Baltimore. While driving on I-83 going back to Pennsylvania, a disagreement started and turned physical. Morant says Strasbaugh began slapping him. He pulled off the road. They got out of the car. In a court charging document, police say Morant admitted he pushed Strasbaugh to the ground, causing her to hit her head. He went over to her, and she did not respond. He walked away, then walked back to her, and she called out his name. Morant walked away again, then walked back to Strasbaugh, and she did not respond. Her boyfriend took her body, drug her into the woods, and covered her body with a blanket. He left her there to die. Morant is being held at the Baltimore County Detention Center. He has a bail review scheduled for tomorrow. Reporting from Sparks, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.